peeps welcome back so i'm gonna do a quick um easter pretzel you guys said you wanted me to do an easter pretzel, a easter pretzel design so i'm gonna show you what i came up with i didn't make one beforehand because you know i never do <laughs> but um i'm gonna make one pretzel with you guys but if you want to see the full tutorial of how these pretzels came to be check out my i will link my um st patrick's day uh pretzel tutorial so you guys can see how these these were made so basically i mixed cork paint and my podge in here to get this like um like a drizzle like basically like a fake chocolate uh dip or whatever but it's spackle paint and my podge so i'm just gonna use this block to hold it up while it dries but i know last time when we did these after i dipped them in there you know what maybe i won't do it to dry I don't think I'm going to do that because the last time when I put them up to dry, they were so straight that when you put them down, they will roll. And we don't want them to roll. So we're going to treat them just like regular pretzels, okay? So I cut a piece of the um, Teflon sheets, the one I messed up the other day. I cut it up. And I put it in here and that's where I'm going to put my pretzel once I dip it in there. I already have two made that we're going to decorate. But I'm just going to do one more so you guys can see um, how I do this. So basically, I just figure out how high. It's hard to. I figure out how high I want the. Um, The fake chocolate to go up and then I just start putting some on here and letting it go down you could just help it along because then you're gonna just like shake it shake the rest off like when you make a real pretzel so you just keep on until you get it all covered Make sure you get the edge nice how you want it how high you want it try to keep it even if you can then you put some more on there make sure it's nicely covered and then put this over here once you got it covered how you want you're gonna just start shaking the excess off just shake it good you gotta let it all come down because it doesn't look like a lot is up on there but trust me there's extra just want to make sure it all comes down and if you get like a lump or a bubble just pick it off because sometimes the um the my podge has like you know uh glue lumps and stuff you just want to shake it off if you get an air bubble pop it just keep on shaking it until they come off and then you're going to lay it down like you do a real pretzel because if the way i did it last time it would just kept rolling around and and it was getting on my nerves and then i was like sin you don't need to um see this is why you need a like a tall cups because this stuff starts splattering around I got some on my finger. So I think this is good. Wait, I got a big drop there. One way you can tell if you look on the bottom and you see like it's pooling down there, like it's gathering down there, that means it needs to shake a little bit. Because that means that it has an excess. See that? All right. So then you're just going to put it down. Like when you make regular pretzels. And you're going to leave it alone. 
that needs to dry completely. Like, it'll be ready for you the next day. Make sure I get all this. Right? So, I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to put this to the side. Because we don't need that. What we do need is these pretzels over here. And I'm, I need to get another Teflon sheet. Alright, so I got my Teflon sheet and I'm going to put it on top of one of these. I cut it to fit perfectly in there. And I'm going to do like a flower design. Um, you guys can do like, you know, whatever you want. I'm just really trying to keep it like Dollar Tree friendly. So I'm going to use some of this. Um, the fabric paint from Dollar Tree is just green. And I'm going to use some of this. I showed y'all this before. Some of these. Um, a Happy Easter. I'm going to use the, probably the Happy Easter and the flowers of this um, sprinkles from Dollar Tree. I call them sprinkles. They're not sprinkles. They call them scatter or decorations. Or, I don't even know what they call them, but I call them sprinkles. And I got a little bit of sprinkles in here that I'm going to use. And my wax pencil in case I need it. And now let's see what we do here. So basically I was thinking about First, I want to um, separate this so it could be easy for me to grab. I got a couple of Happy Easters and a couple of bunnies. Um, so I could put on there. Oh. And some flowers. I got like, these come in pink, yellow, purple, and green, but I didn't keep put any green since I'm going to use green as the vine so I didn't want to have green flowers too okay so let me get hold on because I gotta squirt some of this out because you know this stuff be acting crazy okay we good we good right now now let's see when we get on this part so I was thinking of <clears throat> making like a vine so basically, let me see. I don't want to. I'm going to keep it down here. Then I'll show you what I did. So basically, I'm just going to go and just make a vine like this. See that? And then I'm just going to go on and put some flowers on the vine. If it sticks, I don't know if it's going to be good with this wax stick. So, like, see, this is what I was thinking. Just put in a flower there. Get a pink flower. Put a flower. And then we're going to make leaves. I'm just going to put another flower there. Even though the flower, it, I mean, the, the flower. The pretzel is pink. I still wanted to put some pink flowers on it. Get some yellow, some yellow flower there, and the uh, pink flower here. Now let's use a smaller pink flower or a purple, but a small one. I think I put too much. You gotta be careful when you put the um the fabric pink. Don't get too heavy handed because it'll start to come down and we don't that's not what we want and um, let's put another purple flower right there right and if you wanted to make a leaf right this is what you're gonna do hold on let me get my wet white I like to wipe my tips off cuz I don't want no extra and if you feel like you need to Move the flower around. Just get your toothpick. You can adjust it however you want. So let, let's try to make like a leaf. So you're just going to take. I'm going to get close. You're just going to take. You're going to put a dot in there, right? 
And then with your toothpick or your pointy tool, you're just going to go like this. See that? So I'm going to do that in a couple of spots because it needs some leaves. Just put a dot. Then come back and just hit it with the tip. Make a leaf. And we're going to do one right here. See, I just did a circle. And then now I'm just going to hit it like that. And it's just going to turn into a leaf. And this is what it looks like. Right? But let's, um, let me wipe this off because it's got a lot of gunk on it. You can put some sprinkles on there if you want. Or if you want to just leave it like that, it's fine. Or if you want to put a bunny, or if you want to put this to say Happy Easter on it. Let me see what looks better. I kind of just like it the way it is. <laughs> but, I'm going to... um. Probably put, I could get a little bit of, you just get a little bit of hot glue. Let me see what I like first. I'm probably going to put, let me see, should I put a pink bunny? Or should I put something that's it? I think, let me see the Happy Easter one. Yeah, I think I like the Happy Easter, but I'm going to use the yellow one. Yeah. You just need a little, the tiniest dot of glue, and it's going to get you good. Look. See that pretzel? Looks so pretty. I should have put glitter on it, on the pretzel when I, uh, when I painted it. That's another idea, but I'm going to put some glitter on it right now. This bit, of, this little bit of glitter is starting to come to its end. I only have like a corner left. I love this sprinkle, this, um, this glitter. And then that's one. One pretzel. Came out pretty nice. And now we're going to do another pretzel. So, we can just do a basic, regular pretzel with, um, like, um, the Easter colors, if you want. But, you know, that these fabric paints don't come in, like, a lot of colors. They, like, they come in black, red, white, yellow, like, basic colors. Like, they might have a pink every once in a while, but purple, I haven't seen it, or even like a light blue, haven't seen it. But um, we could just do a regular, uh, basic, um, I got my tulip, excuse me, I got my tulip paints here. And, you know, I gotta squirt some out first. So we could just go. And we could do like a, um, let's try to do like a peep one. Squirt some of this out because you see this be acting crazy. See if we could get these colors on here. You can make them however you want. Like, once you get the pretzel part down, decorating them is just the fun part and we'll put a little bit of purple Maybe squeeze it first because I'll be having some luck look see that all right so I'm not going to pick it up, but you, when you pick it up, it's going to, I am going to pick it up to show you, but I got some peep sprinkles right here. I'm about to use these. 
got my wax pen right there. And I think I'm going to just throw a peep on there. Well, we do that later. So now let's see what I got here. I got me a peep right here. Put that down. Got me a blue peep. All right, you want to go there? Just put all, you know, just put sprinkles all over it. I don't want to throw the sprinkles on there because sometimes you get more sprinkles on one part than you get on the other. Oh, I got a piece of string hanging on this. Thank you. Um. Put some more peeps. The peeps are so cute. I love it. Right? And then I got some peeps over here. Should I just put a whole peep down on that? But what color? No. I think I like the purple one. So I'll just put a... I'm just going to move this peep from here. I want to put a peep, but I'm, I'm just going to glue it down anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just a little bit of glue. Get you a peep. Oh. And then I'm going to put some glitter. I mean, you could put more. I was picking up the wrong thing. Sprinkles if you want. Sprinkle it up. You get a, a peep. These little peep sprinkles are just so cute. Like I said, once you decorate, once you paint, and you get your um your pretzel done. A peep pretzel it's basic just got a peep on it and we got this pretty one here with the flowers which you can use for Mother's Day too so basically see this is what freaking glue the glue from the um I'm gonna put these down here because I don't want to keep look at this here's the glue I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to put it right back down. But guys, these are the, let me let me show you. Look, see this glue? See that glue? So guys, here are your two Easter sprinkle uh, sprinkles, Easter pretzels. You can design them, decorate them however you want. This is just an idea. One basic and one, you know, a little bit more designed. Totally up to you what you want to do. So until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep crafting. See you soon. God bless.